Welcome to another installment of Visions of What is to Come 13. Uh, this is probably the most mm, disturbing uh, vision I've seen in my entire life. And I wasn't sure if I was to share the vision. But then I heard the Spirit say, yes, that's why I'm showing you these things. I'm going to share the majority of it because some of it... Um, I don't think I'm supposed to share. At least that's what I got, a confirmation in my spirit. First, I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. I won a contest on the Mrs. Volfi's channel. And I have um, a whole lot of new subscribers from that. It was a wonderful um, prizes that I won. Uh, thanks again to the Mrs. Volfi. And she is a prepper. And also, uh, she's a delightful uh, a woman and a cook and a homesteader. And I wanted to say thank you to uh, her again for you know, the prizes that I won. And also to all of my new subscribers that found me because I won a contest from her channel. Thank you so much. Um, the vision uh, took place today when I was lying in my bed. I wasn't asleep. Um, I have visions for those of you who know my history. I can have it when I'm asleep. I can have an open vision. Or I can have my eyes closed like this and I can just see. Um, things like a movie that plays out. Uh, this um, vision is one that I really um, didn't know if I should, should share it, but like I said, I got a confirmation to share it. So I'm just gonna tell you, and it was, you know, it was very um, traumatic for me to see. But anyway, um, it was. It took place in a park, and it was a very beautiful park. I, I remember seeing picnic tables, and I remember just seeing children playing, running, and all of a sudden. I saw um, people and children um, being um, being shot, you know, by guns, and it was horrible. Um, immediately, you know, after seeing it, I um, jumped up, you know, I just started praying and, and crying and weeping and asking God, you know, why did you show me this, you know, and I, I believe that, you know, if maybe we get enough people to pray um, that um, we can stop this or uh, whatever thing that, that um, you know, I feel that uh, is supposed to happen or, or gonna happen. I anytime you see a loss of life, period, it's traumatic, but especially with children. And like I said, it took place in a park. It was very traumatic for me. Um, I'm still shaken by it and um, upset about what I saw. I even, you know, was like, you know, questioning God, why did you show me this, you know? And, um, you know, I have no right to question God, but I just, I felt like this one, I didn't want to, I didn't want to be the one to, you know, to speak such things, but it's what I saw. And I'm not trying to put the fear in anybody. I'm asking for all of you who are believers to pray, please. Please, let's pray that this incident will not happen. It's been so many um, things happening um, in our country, and it's just, it's, it's, it's utter disbelief of all the violence that's taking place. Um, but it's something that I know, you know, um, has to take place because we're in the end times. So... To all of you out there who know, um, you know, believe in prayer, who know prayer, who know what prayer can do, and um, all of those who, um, you know, just like myself, um, believe that we are in the end times, I'm asking for you to please, um, let's pray. Please, let's pray that this incident will not take place. I also had another vision where my mom, who's deceased, come, came to me, and I was, again, I wasn't asleep. Um, I was lying on my bed, and um, she came to me. I saw her with my eyes closed, and um, I heard her, but my eyes were closed. I saw her, but I heard her. And I think it's the way I I want to receive it, because I can probably see, you know, her with my eyes like this, but, you know, I'm a scary cat, and I'm sorry, that's just how I am, but. So anyway, she um she saw she saw speaking to me and she saw telling me things and 
one of the things I asked her, I said, uh, you know, am I doing the right things by, you know, putting back and trying? And she said, oh, she said yes. She told me before, I think maybe a year ago, that I was doing the right thing. It seemed like I just need confirmation or something. She's like, you know, keep needing confirmation. And, and that's not good because I, I trust my own vision. But sometimes when you're the only person in your family that's actively doing it, you know, it, it, it makes you feel like no one. And so I asked her, she said, yeah, she's just going to get real bad. She said, yes, and tell them, you know, to to definitely, you know, start getting busy and, you know, start, you know, preparing. And, um, you know, in itself, it made me feel good to know I was doing the right thing. But at the same time, it made me feel sad because this is it's going to happen. I mean, whatever people want to call it, the stuff hit the fan. You know, different people have a, re a lot of different reasons why they're preparing or prepping. Some say it's going to be economic collapse. You know, some say, you know, they believe it's going to be some type of, um, you know, pandemic or, you know, nuclear, you know, a fallout or something. You know, I'm, I'm just going on what I've seen is um, the end times. And there's a lot of people who will say, well, we're going to be raptured. And I said this in one of my other videos. You can you can leave a message if you want about what you feel about the rapture, but that's not, you know, the purpose of this channel. The purpose of the channel is for people who know that something is going to take place, and they want to be prepared. I was brought up in church, and my father preached there was going to be a rapture, a pre-trip, a pre-trip rapture. I no longer believe there's going to be a pre-trip rapture. Okay, I believe that we're going to go through a tribulation period, and then. <laughs> You know, there's going to be, you know, a rapture. So, um, I, I just, you know, and that's just for what I believe. And like I said, you know, there's different scriptures in the Bible. And I have heard this this point argued pre-trib, mid-trib, you know, post-trib, and also pre-rap. You could take the scripture and every point has been argued, you know. Everybody take that different scripture and argue their point. You know, all I know is that what I've been shown. And a lot of what, majority of what I see come to pass, um, you know, and not just, I don't, I mean, I don't record my everyday life and, you know, people in my life, but a lot of things I've, I've seen for them have, have, has come to pass. And um, several things that I've seen on all of my videos have come to pass. This one about those uh that park, I prayed to God, I, I begged God, I cried out to God, please don't let this happen. Please don't, please don't let this happen. Because it would be uh, devastating. And like I said, I mean, you know, this one I, I didn't want to do because um, I also seen um, the um, responsible parties. And uh, I can't say, I, I'm just not let, I, I, that I know I'm not supposed to say. Okay, let me just say that, you know, it's, it's not good, you know, who, who, would, who did it. But, you know, this is the thing. You know, I'm coming up here just to warn you all what I saw. I'm not saying keep your kids out of the park. What I'm asking for is for those of you who pray, let's, you know, petition God and, and ask him not to let this happen. Please. I want to thank each and every one of you uh, for tuning in to my videos. Again, I want to thank all of my subscribers, not just my new ones, all of you. And um, again, thank you. May God bless you and may heaven shine upon you.